What's up YouTube? Mini Mancino here and welcome back to another mini cast. For those who are new, this is the weekly podcast vlog type show where I share with you some updates and uh, just talk about something for a little while. And today is going to be a little bit interesting as you can probably tell I'm in the game live. Like I can go jump, jump. I'm in the game live this time around. Usually I do pre-recorded footage or post-recorded footage actually. Today I'm doing them at the same time and that's because I want to give a little bit of a chat about uh, accessibility in games again because I got inspired by something and I'll show you it. Excuse me, I'll show you it in just a moment. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Rars Erica, actually, she's been on several streams and stuff and she's been a really cool addition to the overall community. She um, shared with, uh, with me and a couple other people a texture pack for Minecraft that uh, that is meant to be like accessible to low vision uh, players, which I think is a really cool idea, a really good step towards accessibility in gaming, which has kind of been on my mind lately. So that's going to be today's uh, mini cast. I was going to talk a little bit about Twitch and stuff, but like I don't really have much to say about it. So that's going to be saved for another episode. We're just going to not really deal with updates and we're going to dive on in. So speaking of that texture pack, let's just hop in there so I can explain some stuff. Give me one moment. All right, everybody. We are in the, uh, what, what is this texture pack called? Resource pack. The low vision tweaks we'll get to in a moment. Uh, blind accessibility, blind accessibility pack version 1.1. Um, as you can see, the most immediate change is basically what I like to call dark mode. Everything everything is easy to figure out when you highlight something. It just, whatever you can click on just turns blue and it's nice. The print is nice. Everything is nice. And that's step one of making things easier to see. Now, um, arguably the grass does not fit that description, but it's fine. Now, okay, so... Things are a little bit crazy and stuff. So before I get into at least some of the some of the changes and things that they've added, because there's a lot of cool things. Um, so the perfect the purpose of this is again to make things more accessible to people who can't see so well. And a lot of this pack focuses on contrast and stuff like that, and toning down detail of some blocks. So to you uh, watching this video assuming you're also you're not visually impaired like me are probably like this pack kind of looks like poop and I'm not gonna say you're wrong however that's not its purpose it's not meant to look good it's meant to be uh useful and meant to enable people to play this game that otherwise can't so let's get into it so first is this grass texture the most immediately noticeable thing personally for for the way my vision works because everybody's condition is different this is not, this isn't that. I mean, it's interesting. It's interesting for sure, but it's not, it's not that helpful, especially when it comes to creepers. Cause like the mobs weren't changed. Creepers just blend right on in with this. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Can I do, wait, I did it wrong. Let's see. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Now for me at a distance, like if even if I'm this far away, that blends in. I'm only able to focus on it because I know it's there. But like, okay, let's see if I can if I go up. That's a little bit that's a little bit far. That's a little bit far. Um Yeah, how am I gonna how am I gonna demonstrate that? Like it just it just blends in a lot. So when I'm looking around in a world and stuff, it's really hard to see compared to compared to normal. Uh, stuff. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take them out. I could do something much more efficient to take them out, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. Now it's the normal it's the normal creeper texture. Like that hasn't changed at all, which is fine. It's fine, but it's not unfortunately not the most helpful thing. So that's unfortunately uh, either an oversight or I'm not entirely sure. And I don't I don't want to say like it's bad planning on their part because it looks like a lot of this isn't complete which is unfortunate and this also doesn't support connected textures which is a shame um but okay so we come over here and here's a good example of contrast this is wheat these are carrots 
potatoes. Oh wait, no, this is beetroot. This is wheat, carrot, potato. Pumpkin and melon seed starts haven't changed. I would like to fix that. And this is nether wart thus far. And these are the soul sand. Did they change the the soul the soul soil? I'm not sure. They're very similar regardless. There's just yeah, it's kind of a thing. So all this stuff is just meant to pop more. You can see also changes to the UI and things like that. The background or the uh, the lines between each item have been made darker and stuff. And I want to do something similar for mine. And the hot bar and uh, the character box, I, I'm going to call it has been has been tweaked as well and like this is it's all just for the sake of contrast i personally think this is too much contrast for myself however uh game and botch has been using this and from what i understand he finds it very beneficial because like i mean look at that to be fair you can't miss that you can't miss that or that or that there's still there's still still improvements that could be made but like, you know, it, it's great. So the beetroot seeds haven't really changed. So maybe that wasn't added kind of thing, but that's been added. So I don't know. So as you can see, all of them are very different. That obviously, yeah. And then that's, I think that outline is just thicker. Um, let me show you one or two more other things. So let's grab some bone meal. As you can see, like a lot of the blocks have outlines to them. Let's just kind of scroll through here and you'll see a couple of examples like that. A lot of these look fairly normal, but see that mushroom has, or the crimson, crimson fungus has an outline. Okay, so they were updating it for 116. Interesting. I wonder why they put an outline for that. That's weird. Maybe to distinguish it from that. That's probably what it was to make it. That's probably what it was. Okay. That makes sense. That's something I hadn't even considered. And I do have trouble telling the difference. They added an outline to chains. How does that look actually? I never actually saw that in game. Oh, okay. It's just the item. That's fair. I'm thinking of doing something similar. Is adding, uh, adding an outline to items like that. Bone meal hasn't changed. The grass has been given an outline. I want to make... Uh, I personally think that's a little bit thick of an outline, but it is it is helpful. I can see it even on this. So I'd like to do something similar uh, for some stuff. Let's see... Let's see some sugar cane. Now, I showed this to some people on UE. Uh, mainly DJ, and he was like, I like sugar cane because it reminds me of something from another game. And I do really like this texture, actually. <laughs> I really like this texture a lot. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there's just like a lot of stuff that's been added. Let's go over to one of the houses. I'm sorry I'm not working on any of them today, but I wanted to show this off because I do feel that it's kind of, kind of important. Now, they kept the streaks and everything, but I think the glass is mostly the same. I don't think there's that much difference with the glass. Is that thinner? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure that's like mostly normal. Uh, bricks like this have been given a very thick outline, which again, to me, is a bit too much, but it certainly does its job of making it easier to see. So I will take it. That's been modified a little bit. The compost composters I don't think have been modified. So let's go in here and see what they did tweak. That is... That is noticeable. <laughs> that is very noticeable. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean... This is definitely... So, like, the wood has been toned down in detail. Have the sea lanterns been changed? I think just the animation is gone. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look at what they got going on over here. What about the particles? Those are... Those are bigger. Those are definitely bigger. So, again, a lot of this has been focused on making things easier to see and stuff like that. Um, okay, so that's been given higher contrast. That's fair. I've noticed these don't really have it. Soul fire is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that's normal, though. 
The jukeboxes, I kind of like those. I kind of like those, actually. I never looked at the paintings in this game before, or in this texture pack before. That's really cool. I, I like that they changed the paintings. Maybe that's something, maybe that's something I'll do is uh, either find some old pictures of my own and add them into the game or or something. Now this is what they did with the with oak trapdoors in any way. Um, I don't like that they did the outlines in the center here, but like again, it, it pops. It certainly pops, so it does its job. I've also heard that the person in question that made this pack has also uh, made ones geared to uh, dealing with motion sickness and nausea and stuff like that. So like whoever's doing this, that's that's noticeable for sure. <laughs> that's a little bit intense. Wow. So so whoever's doing this is doing a phenomenal job in in trying to make this accessible to more people, and it's a fantastic first start for me personally. As you've seen, there's like a lot in here that I'm like, I mean, I don't need that personally, but it's still pretty awesome. So we've got these as well. Are these the jukeboxes? Oh no, those are the note blocks. Okay. I do like that they actually made a difference between the jukeboxes and the note blocks. I appreciate that actually. Um, did they mess with signs outside of- oh, they just made them flatter. I can live with that, actually. I can live with that. So, again, there's a lot of things I haven't really seen. I'm gonna switch to one, a texture pack that I am working on. Because, I mean, as you guys have already seen, there's a lot of stuff that I'm saying, this doesn't work for me personally. So I'm like, well, if somebody's making a pack that can work for loads of people, also that, I don't see why the rays of the sun are necessary. But, again, that's just me nitpicking. It's noticeable, and it's got a neat diamond shape, so I'll take it. Um, so, a lot of really, really interesting things with this texture pack that I really, really like. And would really, really help me out. Other things, kind of unfortunately for me with the way my eyes work, kind of backfire. However, for some of my friends, they're fantastic. So, how can I make this usable for myself? I'm working on one right here. I've just called it Low Vision Tweaks for now. It's kind of a working title. I've only been working on it for the last couple days. And again, you're talking about a blind person that does not know much about editing images and such. So I haven't tweaked the UI at all yet. Uh, but you can already see some differences here. So for any crop that is on the first stage of growth, you get the yellow lines. Right, um, and I realize that is that is super fugly. It's super fugly, and I totally respect your opinion on that. Chains are pretty good. I want to add the outlines to the grass, like like you saw in the other in the other pack. Uh, maybe not quite as thick, but like something that would make this a little bit easier to see because it does blend in for me. Uh, creepers, on the other hand, I kind of borrowed a friend's texture and I didn't ask them if I could use it, so, um, I just put it in here as a proof of concept. I am gonna ask them if I can use it because it's a really good texture. Um, and basically the creepers are white so that they stand out. I can show it to you, but, um, I, d I did the same mistake. I haven't updated a lot of the items or anything, uh, just yet, but... I mean, it's not per it's not perfect in terms of how it will stand out, but I mean, it's a pretty good creeper texture. But again, this was made this creeper texture was part of Tekkit's texture pack uh, that he made for Unknown Empire, and uh, I I don't have his permission to actually use it, so that's awkward. I'm only show I only put it in here as a proof of concept to see whether or not the white creeper thing would be a good idea. Uh, but again, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him. I don't really have any intention of publishing this texture pack. I'm only showing it off here because um, I kind of want to show off how important game uh, accessibility in games can be and stuff like that. Unfortunately, the only textures I'm having trouble finding are the textures for when melons, melon seeds, and pumpkin seeds are just planted because. There's not really a lot. Can I can I bone meal that? No. 
Uh, there's not really a lot of, um, or I can't, I just can't find them. But these have it, and then you get to other stages, and uh, they don't have it until you get to fully grown. Then you get the red lines. So the red lines indicate that things are fully grown. The red lines happen in the blind, ex in the accessibility pack as well. So that is an idea I did take from that. Um, I just did it without the contrast, so I can tell when things are fully grown and stuff like that. Now this, this won't have any, I don't think we'll have any lines just cause I can tell when they're, when they're up, like they're, they're there. They're pretty, they're pretty easy to spot. And then, you know, there's that. So I don't think I'm going to change these. Uh, nether wart I'm having problems with just for some reason, it just won't let me use the color I want for the line. And that sucks because I find it hard to tell when these are fully grown. I don't know if these are fully grown. Are they? Certainly more than that. So I don't need, I don't know, I might still put a line on that one too. I don't know. Also, soul sand and soul soil, I might try to see if I can change the color of those. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at any of this. So yeah, this is just kind of a project that I started working on for, for myself, but also um, that other texture pack I was showing you is a little bit out of date right now. Um, and I want to try to make a new version, uh, not necessarily steal their thunder or anything, but like maybe just make my own take on it and, um, see how that works. See if it can actually help people and make gaming that little bit more inclusive for everybody that wants to be part of it, you know, because like, why not, you know, um, not only why not, but like, it's just, you know, just to, just to be be able to give someone the opportunity to actually be part of it. Because let's be real, there's lots of games I'd like to play that I have trouble with just simply because they're, you know, it's hard for me to see them. And um, I can use the default texture pack for the most part, but I'm like, you know what, some days I really have a hard time and it would be really nice to have something that just makes things a little bit easier on me. Like I can tell like that's potatoes, that's carrots because there's orange there and stuff. It's just sometimes you see the, you see the, the, the root of the plant before they're fully grown. So it's hard for me to tell when they're actually fully grown. So this line just gives me that indicator going, hey, they're done. We, it was less necessary, but you know, and I did it for the seeds so I can actually see them in the ground. Uh, instead of changing this texture, because I don't want to ruin it, <laughs> honestly, I want to keep my pack as close to default as possible. Um, partly because I just, I like the default look and also like, you know, for somebody else coming into it, I want to give them as close to the original ex experience as humanly possible. Um... And I also modified the glass here. You can see it from here. You can see the outlines from here. I just thickened them up. You can see it from a mile away. I want this pack to support uh, connected textures. I got to figure out how to do that and stuff. So here's where you guys could come in. I also like modified gravel a little bit. I made it darker and I made andesite a little bit lighter. Um, it's not very practical. So I definitely have to change that. So this pack, again, has only been a work in progress for the last couple of days. Um, and it's just me kind of fumbling around until I figure it out. So this is, this is not, you know, this is not going to be like top tier expert stuff. However, I'm always up for anybody that's willing to help out and, and, and contribute and make this thing awesome. Um... I do kind of want to take from that other texture packs example and make these lines a little bit, a little bit darker. Not, not as dark as that pack, but a little bit. And same, same for here. I want to make this a little bit darker. Stuff like that. But just like a, a few, a few tweaks to make things a little bit easier to see. I don't personally think I need to get rid of this because it's very subtle anyway. And I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's fine as is. Um, I would like better paintings, like different paintings rather. Who knows? It's fine. It's fine as is though for now. Um, 
and like maybe in the future I can make alternate versions. I could do all kinds of stuff and 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 hopefully contribute to the blind community that wants to play this game. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's <laughs> this this whole video was just basically me showcasing my attempt at what I like to call work, I guess? I don't know. But if anybody has any suggestions or any ideas they'd like to, to they'd like to put forward or if you'd like to help in general, definitely hit me up because I would love to hear from you and I'd love to make this a collaborative effort with, with the community and stuff. I know some of you may not really know that much about what a blind person might need. Um, but you know what? That's why we'll talk, we'll work together, we'll figure it out and you know, if, if you're decent at editing textures, then uh, we can work something out because it's probably not going to be super, uh, I mean, there's going to be a lot to edit, but like, you know, I will definitely be working on this. And if you want to work with me, I would love to hear from you. And I will probably be making updates as time goes on. But for now, this is just what it's going to be. So I'm going to leave you off here, you guys. And, um... I don't know, man. This is this is how this is gonna end. Every week will not be an update on this, but um, maybe I'll do separate videos updating it on it or something. I don't know. You definitely know, let me know what you guys think. And uh, here's hoping to making strides in uh, accessible gaming. You know? Uh, but for now, I'll let you go. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it as fascinating as I've been finding, as I've been finding it. Uh, Please feel free to check out any other series I have on this channel, as well as joining me on Twitch and also joining the Minchino clan on Discord if you haven't done that already. Links to that should be in the description down below. And until next time, you guys, Mini out.